Dear data folks, welcome back to our next video in the DBT series. In our previous video, we learned about modularity, developed reusable DBT models, and connected them together using the ref function to build a scalable data pipeline. In today's video, we'll demonstrate the use cases for seeds and analyses features offered by DBT. Additionally, we'll discuss DBT sources and why they are valuable additions to our workflow. Let's dive right in. In DBT, seeds are CSV files that can be easily loaded into a data warehouse using the DBT seeds command. Seeds are particularly useful when working with static or infrequently changing data, such as reference data and lookup tables. The sales target data is relatively small and doesn't change frequently, making it suitable for implementation as a seed. Let's get back to our retail order management system project. My business team wanted to set quarterly sales targets for each store ID and in the BI report, they would like to compare it against the actual sales achieved. These two existing tables can be used to calculate the actual sales for each store. However, the target sales data is missing from our data warehouse. We will use the DBT Seeds feature to import it. Let's proceed with creating the CSV file in the Seeds folder. Please note that the table will have the same name as the CSV file that we create here. Here are the quarterly sales targets separately set by the business team for each store. Once you've saved the file, you can issue the DBT Seed command. We can check if the table corresponding to the sales target seed file has been successfully created in our data warehouse. Yes, it is. Now, the BI team can generate reports showing which stores have achieved their targets and the percentage of target achievement. Additionally, you can reference the seed files just like the way you reference downstream models using the ref function. Moving on, let's discuss the purpose of the Analyses folder in DBT. Just like the Models folder, the Analyses folder allows us to create SQL files. However, unlike the Models folder, the SQL files in the Analyses folder are not materialized in the data warehouse. Then what's the use of this? The Analyses folder provides a space for executing ad hoc queries on top of our data warehouse using DBT code. It allows us to leverage DBT syntax and features for querying and analyzing our data. The SQL files in the Analyses folder are compiled, which enables us to validate the compiled SQL code that will be executed against the data warehouse later when we choose to move the files to the Models folder. I can simply execute it with the Run button and view the query results. The DBT compile command will compile this SQL file. This also gets compiled when I issue the dbt runny command. But it'll not be materialized, that means the corresponding object is not created in the data warehouse. As expected, the store revenue SQL was not materialized into a table or view in my data warehouse. Next, let's talk about sources, another important feature in dbt. Please have a look at our existing models. Many of them have hard-coded or direct references to the schema name and table name. Let's say the data governance team would like to make changes to the table name or schema name for some reason. This would be a tedious task to modify the models, especially if the table is being used in multiple models. DBT sources address this problem. Please create a separate YAML file in your models folder. You can name it as you wish. The source name and reference table name over here allow you to access the corresponding actual table name in your models. We can now replace the hard-coded schema and table names with the source function. The syntax and usage are very similar to the ref function that we've been using. Now, making changes in the configuration file is relatively safe and considered a best practice rather than modifying the core models. In addition, sources offer another advantage, they are added to your data lineage diagram, giving you improved visualization and data governance. That's all I have for today. 
In our next video, we'll cover the DBT test and documentation features. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.